this is James from The Stuff in the Thing, and today we're going to be reviewing the Razor Blade Pro 2016 version. Um, yeah. So during, during the review, uh, just in case I get parched, uh, I'm going to be having a little beer here and there. Uh, today we're going to be having the Bourbon Barrel Anodyne Wheat Wine by Revolver Brewing. I've never had a wheat wine. It's a high uh, ABV. It's 12.7%. So kind of strong. Uh, it's really sweet. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, I don't know if I would make it a daily drinker, but uh, for this it's going to do the job. Okay, so we have the Razor Blade Pro. It's a 17.3 inch laptop. Uh, it's solid aluminum body. Um, uh, a lot of people are comparing it to the qu build quality to like the MacBook uh, Pro. Um, it has uh, a lot of ports. Um, on this side, we have uh, the power. We have a killer Ethernet. And then we have two USB 3 and then a microphone. And then these are actually uh, speakers. And then on the other side, you'll also see that there's a speaker uh, SD card reader, uh, USB uh, C type, but it's also a Thunderbolt 3. Another uh, USB 3 and then the HDMI out. Uh, and then a Kinnick King Kinnickston lock. Um, I don't know why it's there. I'm not going to be using it, but it is. One of the other selling points of this gaming laptop is the keyboard. It's a uh, RGB backlit, uh, and you can do all sorts of cool stuff with it. Uh, it's going to get old quick, but I mean, for now, it's kind of cool. Right now, I have it in like this strobing color. Um, it affects the trackpad and the keys. Um, this can be turned off, so you don't have to worry about when you're at a meeting or if you want to take it to work. Um, you can just make it look like a normal keyboard or a static color or whatever you want to do. The other thing is on the back, of the laptop is the logo for Razer and it's lit up in green. You can also turn that off um, and if the Razer logo uh, you don't want that at work uh, I would recommend getting a skin just to cover the whole thing. So uh, inside laptop 17.3 uh, inch uh, 4k IGZO uh, screen 60 Hertz G-Sync built-in um, I've never actually used a G-Sync screen, so this is the first time I've been exposed to it. Uh, I really like it. It makes the gaming really smooth. Um, a lot of people have... It's also a touchscreen. Um, a lot of people uh, necessarily don't like the glossy finish of the screen. Uh, a lot prefer the matte. Um, at certain angles, it does reflect quite a bit. Um, but uh, for me, I use it for indoors, uh, so I don't really care about the glare that much. Um, has a 2 megapixel front facing camera. I uh, probably won't use that very much, but it is what it is. Uh, one of the selling points is the keyboard. It's the first low pro profile mechanical keyboard made by Razer. Um, uh, internally, it has a, uh, it's running an i7 6700HQ. Um, it's a quad core hyper threaded um, CPU, um, standard 2.6 gigahertz, boost to 3.4. Five, I believe. Um, it also has a 1080 GTX graphics card in it, uh, which is one of the reasons why I bought it. Um, it's a full desktop 1080 GTX. Uh, it can get loud and hot when you're gaming. Uh, I'll show you that later. The trackpad is on the right hand side, which uh, for me, I don't use laptops that much, so I got pretty used to it, but a lot of people are used to having the trackpad in the middle. So I, I've heard that um, that can be uh, confusing at first. And if you're left-handed, I don't know if, know if you even want to buy the laptop because obviously the trackpad's on the, on the right. Uh, above the trackpad, there's a little scroll wheel. By default, it's set up to change your volume, but you can change it to be anything uh, through the Razer software. Um, it's a nice keyboard. Uh, some people, uh, reviews I've, I've read, really hate the keyboard. Uh, they prefer the, the Razer Blades keyboard over this one. Um, I like it. It's not the best keyboard, uh, but it's snappy. It has it snap, sounds like a mechanical keyboard, and it gives you good feedback. So 
uh, I don't have any issues typing on it. So, kind of snappy. So the, the Razorback Pro, Pro basically just comes in three models. Um, and it, the only variation is actual the, the SSDs that, that, that come with it. They run in RAID 0. You can either get a 512, 1 terabyte, or 2 terabyte. I went with the middle with the 1 terabyte SSD. Uh, they all come with 32 gigs of um, DDR4 memory. Um, the, uh, when, one of the drawbacks of the screen, I mentioned, or I mentioned about the screen, but one of the drawbacks is with G-Sync, you always are using the uh, discrete graphics card, so it's always using the 1080 GTX. It can't use the onboard 530 HD uh, G GPU. Uh, because of the G-Sync screen. So uh, your battery life is going to be limited because you're always powering the 1080 GTX. Uh, but on the, on the Pro side, it's the best graphics card you can get right now for, for gaming. Uh, so one thing with this laptop is it gets very loud when you're gaming. Uh, but what I found is when it's uh, not plugged in and just using the battery, it's not as loud as when it's plugged in. So what we're going to do is we're going to run uh, Gears of War 4 at 4K. Um, and then I'll show you what it sounds like uh, unplugged and then plugged in. So here we're running um, Gears of War 4 and Benchmark uh, with the laptop unplugged. Uh, you can hear it sounds pretty good, it has pretty good speakers. And we're hitting about 30 frames a second with this, but it's, it's very quiet. Uh, and it's at 4K resolution. So I've restarted the the, uh, the benchmark with the laptop plugged in, and now we're at about 45 frames a second. But in a second, you'll you'll see how loud it actually is getting because it's using the full 1080 GTX card. I'm gonna turn down the volume. You can use the scroll bar to do that. And you can see that the fans start. Uh, spinning up and it gets pretty hot. You can see, you can feel the uh, hot air blowing out the front and the back of the screen. But you do get uh, 15 frames a second better when it's plugged in, when it as opposed to when it's not plugged in. But I, I would definitely recommend uh, that when you're gaming, you uh, use headphones uh, if you have it plugged in, uh, because the fan noise can be a little distracting. So one of the things that uh, I did before I bought this, because it's a fairly expensive laptop, and I couldn't decide whether I wanted the Pro or this, the Razer Blade 14-inch, uh, uh, was I made a mock-up of what I thought this was going to look like. Um, and I made it out of cardboard, and I laid out the keyboard and everything. Um, so I wanted to see how it felt carrying it around. Um, so uh, when I got this, I was pleasantly surprised that my dimensions weren't uh, exact. The, the depth is good, um, and then the length is okay, but where I really messed up is on, is, um, on the depth, right? Uh, I made it an extra like three inches. I don't know how I did it, so when I got this, I was uh, pleasantly surprised that it was smaller than I thought. So overall, um, I've had the laptop for about a week. Um, and I was figuring out whether I wanted to keep it uh, or send it back, and um, I think I'm going to keep it. Uh, so I like the laptop. Um, it's not as portable uh, as some laptops, but it's also future-proof. Uh, with a 1080 inside, uh, I'm going to get multiple years out of this laptop as opposed to buying another one with a 1060 or 1050. Um, and I know with some of those you can get an external GPU uh, to extend life, but you know, with this, the 1080, uh, by the time the 1080 uh, is obsolete, I'm sure Razer will support their um, external GPU on this, and then I can just add something to it. But for now, it's really uh, everything I need. Um, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, I like it. Uh, and I, if, if, it costs a lot. So uh, there are alternatives uh, that are cheaper, uh, but if, if, the design, the aluminum frame, is, is, is what you like. Uh, I would highly recommend getting this laptop. So I'm going to add links uh, below to the Amazon webpage where I bought this. Uh, I didn't buy it from Razer directly because I've heard bad things about their customer service. And occasionally I've heard that uh, the quality of this, the dead pixels, uh, bands in the screen, I've heard 
um, people have, have said they, they've got. So I thought buying it from Amazon would be a better, um, better just in case I needed to return it because Amazon would, would take it back. Uh, but I'll put links to both um, Razor and Amazon. And I'll also put a links to my daughter's uh, YouTube channel, she's Life with M. She's going to be editing, uh, filming, and maybe being in the video. So uh, if you want to subscribe to her channel, there'll be a link to it.